Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and even though yesterday was an absolutely terrible day for the O's because Davis has requested a transfer, today is a special day. I have my own kit in FIFA. Yes, for the first time in years, ever since EA took away the, the ability to make your own kits, we are now able to put our own kit into the game and that is thanks to a very, very lovely guy. I think his name was Muzz, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna check right now once again. His name is Muzz, yes, uh, at DMuzzly on Twitter. His link will be in the description down below. That man has helped me to get our own kits into the game and they are now in the game if you guys are hyped man i said i wouldn't be asking for likes anymore but dude this is a special occasion so if you guys want to go ahead and show some appreciation for the new kits being in the game hit that like so the first home kit as i told you guys i wanted the kaiser chiefs kit just with the colors of leighton orient the red and black stripes on the shoulders, the assistant coach is on the front, you love to see it, and then the away kit is absolute fire, look at that, I personally think that looks incredible, yes there will be some people saying oh you could have done this, you could have done that, this is the first time we're doing it boys, we can go even crazier in the future, but for now, for the first time that we are doing this, I am absolutely in love with both of these kits. We now have our own kits in the game and all that due to PC modding. Thankfully, this exists this year. Without PC mods, I genuinely wouldn't know what to do with career mode, man. I'm so happy that these guys are doing what they are doing. Shout out to all the modders out there. You guys are the ones that are making this type of stuff possible. So I appreciate it. Now. We do have this kit, which I'm definitely going to be using most of the time. I'm sorry. I just love it too much. Um, um, we do have a episode right here today in which we'll be starting off with a game against Liverpool. As you guys know, quarterfinals in the Carabao Cup. Sheffield, Everton, Leighton Orient, Liverpool, Leicester, Manchester United, Nottingham and Chelsea are the teams left in this one. If we can beat Liverpool, imagine the scenes, man. We have beaten Tottenham last year and then Liverpool came across to take away our hopes and dreams. So hopefully this season we can somehow prove that we have improved. Last season we have conceded three goals against them and lost without scoring a goal of our own. This season we want to make a change. Now going into the comments of the last episode, my friends, we have a comment coming in from Dylan Larat and he says, um, Johnny, I've heard you can just deny every transfer offer until Davis is more happy in the squad, but sometimes the board will force you to sell him after a season or two. Now that again is something that gives me a little bit of hope, but the man who has um, potential to be special sadly just doesn't recognize that he is performing and for whatever reason the player performance now doesn't say anything as well so I'm not too happy with just seeing the entire state of Davis in the club right now who else is unhappy with his situation in the team let's take a look at it Davis is actually the only one and, I ha and then we have McPherson who wants to have a little bit more play time which I totally understand and he is hopefully gonna get it but yeah thank you guys so much for letting me know about that that I can keep on playing Davis and hope to give him a new contract once he's happy again that's gonna be something that I'm gonna try there's another comment coming in from M. Louis Punter and 70 people have liked that comment the first comment was liked by 372 by the way but this one by 70 and it says does anyone else think that sending the scouts to Scotland or Ireland is less effective than to England or France if yes, like so Johnny can see. And I do feel like, yes, we are not getting the best talents out of these countries, sadly. We do have sent them to Scotland and Ireland to keep it kind of UK based. And sadly, it really didn't work out for us. But we have brought in some good talents, especially a 60 rated player in the last episode who has now taken a spot on the team and that is Anderson who now is hopefully going to be a great player 16 years old six foot tall left footed four star weak foot we are excited about that man and most importantly we are excited to hopefully see Wagner back into the team let's jump 
into the first match of, the, of this episode. Marcus Jansson says, use Lewis instead of Dennis at right mid. Please like so Johnny can see. Now the way that we're going to do it is we're going to use Lewis as a left mid and Cook goes down to the right because he has the fast star weak foot and he's not going to have any issues playing down that right hand side. He's going to link up with Ling and hopefully that's going to work out for us in this massive matchup against Liverpool. I know that we are probably not going to be winning, but hey, I'm going to play the home kits first and then in the second game, we're going to use the away kits. But um, to start it off, let's play like that and show off our new home kits. The new kits now in testing against Liverpool, guys. It is happening. I am so excited about this, man. I'm happy that we have a big new feature man it just makes going from season to season so much more important now and just having some sort of continuation who knows what type of kits we will be having once we get into the premier league this these are the kits for the second season next season we can go even crazier and if you guys want to make your designs if you're someone that is capable of making good designs on your pc for kits we can take those as inspiration and go ahead and score a goal with Angle! Oh my god! We've scored against Liverpool! Get in! We have taken the lead! Angle has done it again! Liverpool caught on the counter! Van Dijk caught sleeping! Maybe because he didn't win the Ballon d'Or and he's sad. He didn't really pay too much attention, but that is Angle's goal, boys. He does it again. The kits look amazing. From the back side by the way really like how the stripes like start building up it is such a beautiful kit you love to see it people nantonzun angol ling cook get in far post that is Ferreira. he's not gonna get it lewis now on it lewis holds off a player somehow he does it angol shoots again we hit the post we hit the post, it could have been 2-0 against Liverpool, can you believe it? On goal, on goal, on goal, on goal, on goal, again, what am I doing? Ah, <sighs> man, all of these chances and I'm just not using them, this is gonna come back to haunt me 100%. Davis, good ball, moving forward into Ferreira, Ferreira. Somehow trying to get past Fabinho, he actually does it against Van Dijk as well. Get it. Yes. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I'm actually 2 0 up against Liverpool with their new kit. Van Dijk gets sold once again. Ferreira and Angol. The partnership of dreams, what a terrible finish. He shoots right at Alisson. Klopp is not happy with his team and I do understand why. They should clearly be winning this. But right now, it's all about Leighton Orient. The O's might just come up with the upset of a century against Liverpool, who even have brought in Arthur from Barcelona into their team. Oh, Trent with a beautiful ball. Mo Salah. Mo Salah. Oh no, I'm missing my tackles. Mo Salah gets stopped. Van Dijk, Werner. Arthur, that's a bad tackle for myself. Arthur now, once again. Oh my god, what a ball. What? what? <laughs> Did you see that save? Did you see that save from Bennett? That is unbelievable. Yes, it's offside. But can we talk about that save? It was exceptional. I don't know how he pulled it off. Look at this passing play. Look at the run. No, I wanted to do a fake shot on Tonsu. You fake shot, stand still, and Ferreira runs in behind. Mane with a little bit of space ahead of him. Mane has some options. Arthur decides not to pass it which turns out to be a mistake but Liverpool get the ball back straight away Collins what a tackle mate and there goes Lewis Lewis to put through Ferreira Ferreira against Van Dijk Ferreira yes 3-0 <laughs> it's in. unbelievable Ferreira and the boys with the third goal against Liverpool. 
What is going on? How is this even possible? How is this possible? I will never understand. I am 3-0 up against Liverpool and they had one chance which was offside which we still saved. 45 minutes between us and eternal glory against Liverpool. Okay, Timo. Oh, wow, that's okay. Yep. Oh, Bennett. Oh. Okay, well, that's that's more realistic, I guess. Um, it's Mane scoring in the fourth minute of added time. Liverpool do get through. It's, it's again, not the best defending. That turn from Werner was unexpected. I did not see that coming. And, uh, yeah, he did get the pass in. 3-1. Two goal difference as we go into half number two. Hopefully we can keep this lead. Salah, no way, no way. It's literally the first two minutes of the second half and Mo Salah just has that pace that I can't cope with and then he somehow gets the ball across Lampru and places a perfect cross Onto Werner, even though he's surrounded by two people. Bennett once again with no chance. It's actually... This is now getting scary. I had a 3-0 lead against Liverpool and I'm about to blow it, guys. This is about to be one of the worst comebacks that ever happened to us. If I don't start putting up a better fight. Mo Salah now. Again, I can't cope with Salah, his pace. Hopper has no chance. Cross coming in once again. And it's literally the same goal. This time they'll have to blame Collins. Ah. Timo Werner just shows a lot more urgency to get to it. I can't believe we have gone from 3-0 to 3-3 in the matter of 15 minutes. 15 in-game minutes. Ah, Collins, man. That's that's bad reactions for you. That's that just shows that he that is his low rating. It's sadly the reactions that make the difference in that position. Because if he has 90 reactions like one of the best defenders, um, he would have gotten to that one quicker than Werner. But obviously, since he doesn't have those types of stats, it doesn't allow us to do anything special like that. But it's 3-3. Basically, we have restarted the game. We have scored three goals against them once. We can score another one, I believe, in our team. Beautiful, Hopper. That's really well done. Antonsen now. We move forward. On goal. He's going to get his chance. On goal! Oh, my. <sighs> How does he miss that? I mean, I guess now you get to see the 56 composure, but... Angol normally scores that in his sleep, guys. Cook is going to come off. He's extremely tired. We're going to bring on Dennis. Then we're going to bring on Silva for Antonsen. And also... Widowsin for Lampru. Ferreira, beautiful. Oh, yes, Davis. Come on, Davis. Come on, Davis. Against Van Dijk, he can't do it. He can't do it. The man is a giant. Robertson. Robertson. We got it. Origi on the header. Divock Origi, known for score, scoring goals in big games like these. Right around the 87th minute. Liverpool once again try to push in. They are not allowed to do so. It might be another last chance for Silva de Moraes. Silva de Moraes. It's going to be Ferreira. Ferreira pushes away Angel Gomez. And not Angel Gomez. Joe Gomez. And we get a free kick. I'm going to go with the red timed one, boys. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that definitely did not work. Yes, there it is. And with that, guys, we go into penalties after going 3 0 up, man. 3 0 up. And we still couldn't pull it off. I love the fact that the fans all are wearing the same kit as our players now. That is a beautiful sight on the uh, stands. A couple of people are wearing the away kit. A couple of people are wearing the home kit. You can see it immediately sold out. And here it goes. Us with Bennett against them with Alisson. Ferreira, the first one to take it. Ferreira, yes. Good stuff. Ferreira with the first one. Fabinho, the best penalty taker of Liverpool against Bennett. <sighs> Let's go. Angol. 
We're going to go bottom left, my man. We're going to go bottom left and we're going to green time it. Liverpool are about to drop out. Rakitic. Bennett. Oh, that's a good one. Good penalty into the bottom right. It's going to be Silva de Moraes going into the bottom right as well. Will Alisson know? Yes, he knows. Now the pressure is back on. On Bennett! Yes! <laughs> what a goalkeeper. Davis, you're one of the best takers. You have to prove yourself. It's a green time one and a still save it. Unbelievable. And Shakiri goes down the middle. Okay, now it's equal. Mate, this could be it. If I don't score this, I'm basically done. Lewis, please don't mess this up. He messed it up. He messed it up. He messed it up, boys. We're about to lose this. Steve Okorigi, big, big match game. Ah, big match player, big match game. What the hell? <sighs> Again, it's Liverpool who kick Leighton Orient out of the Carabao Cup. After going up 3-0, after standing up and celebrating goals, Liverpool still found a way back into the game, just like they do in real life. I should have known this could happen as a Liverpool supporter. I should have known my own team. What a shame. What an absolute shame. I genuinely believed we could do it, but the boys tried their best. I am nothing but proud of them. There is absolutely no shame, to be honest, for the players to feel like they let us down. If anything, I let myself down, but yeah. Unfortunate, man. Very unfortunate against Liverpool. For the second year in a row, Liverpool kick us out. I have to say, this result does hurt and uh, the players have done extremely well. It is a good lesson for our team, for sure. And uh, yeah, we do aim to win all matches and I don't think it, it was deserved. I Even against Liverpool, against one of the best teams in the world, the team that has won the Champions League title, we still Thank try you. to get a good result. But after all, guys, it sadly did not work into our favour and our team is absolutely knackered right now after chasing down Liverpool for such a long time. Collins in the press conference right there. Very unfortunate circumstances for us to lose that one, in my opinion. We do get a transfer off of a Widowson, though, which we will accept once again. 270k this time. Luckily, all the other offers did not work out. So 270k, I would be very happy with. That would definitely take us above 1 million once we get into the transfer window. We are in the last month. Now, we do have the FA Cup against Crawley away. FA Cup. Hmm. Are they not? Are they in League One? No, I think Crawley was in League Two, right? They are. They are a league below us, so this should be a quite comfortable win for these boys. And here it goes, Crawley. Okay, well they scored in the first minute. Cool, cool. Um, did not expect that. Gotta say, I am expecting a goal though from Ferreira. I wanted to say, and he immediately does it. Ferreira with two goals back to back within ten minutes. Man, if he comes in and says, I'm not getting enough playtime, I want to leave, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak out, that's for sure. Cook gets that third goal, can we hold on to it? We are through into the next round, despite being down to 10 men for 30 minutes, the team has done it again. See, even though I played Cook all the time, now he comes back and says he's happy again about the fact that he's playing more, and Davis... Seems like he's moving up. He was red, very unhappy. Now he is only unhappy. So hopefully we can fix the whole situation with him. But uh, we're going to say we're proud of Cook. He is an exceptional player and we definitely want him to continue to grow. Now we are up against another cup competition in, against Mansfield now in the area semi-final. Don't care. Leasing.com trophy. I just want to drop out. I've been trying for a while now, but they just keep winning. Oh, wow. Okay. Do you see this? Do you see this, guys? Norwich have shown interest in purchasing Jordan Davis for a fee of 25.4 million. 25.4 million, man. That's that's just that's that's massive. That is extremely big in terms of an offer. The first offer was 6.5 and now they're asking for 
1.4 mil for the player that has potential to be special. The one that wants to leave. As you guys said, the top comment of the last episode said, if I keep on rejecting the offers, we will be fine. 25 million offer for our biggest talent who's only 70 rated it would be absolutely massive money we could bring in five star scouts all over the place set ourselves up in multiple countries for nine months and even go ahead and buy some talent into our team who have release clauses like Ferreira but I'm gonna stay loyal and I hope Davis remains loyal to us as well I'm gonna block the offers I actually I can't block the offers for him but at least that one I was able to reject. All right, guys, we're playing a reserves team against Mansfield. I just want to lose. I just want to lose. They have won their last three games. Simulated through. Thank God we have lost another game, another cup competition that we don't need. I really couldn't care less about this leasing.com trophy. So for that reason, I'm happy that we finally have dropped out of it. And it has also helped us with the um, um, suspension of Hapes, so happy with that. Now we do have a big game in about a couple of days right here. Another offer for Davis. Everyone wants him now. After a Premier League side, now a Mexican side is coming in. They are not going to get him. We do reject two big offers for that young man. Plymouth now up next, but I do believe... Plymouth was struggling a lot, right? Yes, they are in the 22nd position, so that should technically be yet another game where we pick up an easy result. Now, we're going to say I'll consider it to Dennis in this case. Jordan Davis has come to us and told us you have made no attempt to resolve any issues regarding his desire to leave the club. We do not like discontent amongst the team, so we have agreed it would be better to sell him as soon as possible please look for an appropriate buyer now this is scary i genuinely am scared that this might cost me my job guys what what do i do i'm actually scared now i am actually scared you need to let me know i don't want to lose my job and my manager rating keeps dropping i'm down to 76 now Mate, if I actually get fired because EA don't call their game right, I am going to lose my mind. We are still waiting on Wagner, his return into the team. Ling is playing. Davis shows what he's worth once again. He wants to keep them transfer offers coming, it looks like. First minute, we are the team that finally scores. Normally, it's always our opponents. I am still expecting a goal from Angol or Ferreira in this match. And there it is. Angol gets it 2-0 up. And that is going to be 3-0 with two goals of Angol. And then Ferreira getting subbed off later on because he has been playing for the reserves team and the main team. Um, Dennis is a bit disappointed for not having played, which is okay. This guy just needs to stop asking for opportunities to play. It's too much. Widows and transfer talks have broken down. Big things happening right now at the O's. And you can see that we are actually in reach of the first position again. The O's are only three points behind Wigan. And if we do win and MK Dons don't win, we are going to be right up in there, boys. And one more thing. We just got another scat report loan offer for judd which i am going to accept because this guy is annoying the hell out of me but asking for play time all the time so he can go risk of losing three players brill colson turley we are okay with that tournament prize money 62k which is good and wagner is finally back get in wagner is back it's your best option Get away. He says, it's really disappointing not being involved in the team. I'm, I know I'm not one of the top players, so can I get a spell alone somewhere? Yes, you can, Judd. Yes, you can. Scout update, Lynch. We've gotten some good ones. This is a terrible one, isn't it? This is actually a terrible one. Oh my God. Yeah, 15K in value. Are you kidding me? Yeah, these guys are actually horrific. But now, here's the moment you guys have been waiting for. It's gonna be the away kit for the O's. Used against Blackpool to try and get ourselves into that top two. That is the goal. 
We are gonna try our best in this game and of course showcase the new kit and its powers. So you guys take a look at the kit. The wings continue on the back side of our players. It's not just the front, it's actually the back side as well, which I am extremely happy with. We have joined in into an incredible design in my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think about the design of the kits. I personally love them man, especially the away kit. Just looks so good. McDonald now running down that wing. He's going to cross it in. Collins is there. Davis chests it down. And here we go with Lewis and his exceptional pace to get in behind. Lewis on top of it trying to find the right pass. Not able to do so. We do get it into Antonsen though. Antonsen making some room to, for Davis because Davis is going to go for the go for the shot. But it sadly isn't accurate enough. McDonald's ba -da -ba -ba -ba, on the cross. He doesn't get it in though, luckily. Come on, Ling, get it away. Yes. Hey, guys, I've just cleared the ball in a very, very important situation. I'm so proud of myself that I finally used the clear ball button in the defense. I sh I'm definitely going to give this video a like myself for actually doing the right thing for once. Lampro with a great ball now into Lewis. Lewis is looking for his options. He sees someone in the middle. It's going to be Antonsen. Lewis with the pass and Antonsen with the finish. Get in. It is 1-0. Lewis is showing an impact down that left-hand side. He has been waiting for his chance to play for such a long time now. And now he has finally made it into the starting lineup. And the first goal in the beautiful away kit is now scored by Antonsen. That is a very nice feeling to see our team succeed like that. Davis. Ferreira, right at the second half, Ferreira, yes he does it again, the defense was not set up already, they actually failed miserably to pick up the run of Ferreira who is ice cold in front of goal, I believe that is an assist of Angol if I'm not mistaken, Ferreira yet again the one to step up and get in the quality finish. The manager is happy. I am happy. And uh, we're going to keep on going and trying to score even more goals with Ferreira. 17th goal this season. He has to be at the top. Who else would be at the top of the scoring list if it wasn't him or Angol? Kirk. Beautiful. Kirk into Angol. Angol stops. Brings it back in, and oh my god, why am I missing these chances? It's always the same angle where I feel like I have an easy opportunity, but they don't score. I don't get it, Angle should have had one now. Oh, there goes the run of Angle! Angle cuts back, plays it into Ferreira! Oh, Ferreira. Come on, brother, no reason to stick your fist into your head, but come on, that needs to be better. That for sure has to be. A quality finish instead of that, what I've just seen. No! Bennett! Bennett, Bennett, Bennett. Much needed. 78th, the first big chance of Blackpool. Cook, beautiful. There goes Ferreira. Ferreira just waiting for the moment for Angol. Angol, again, will have to bring it back. Ferreira, what a turn! What a finish! He does it yet again. He will never stop, will he? Ferreira. Quality on the ball. And Angol once again with another assist. Beautiful football. And the fake shot to take him around the defender was just outstanding. Take a look at it. It's as close as you can get for a fake shot. And it is perfectly timed. The finish is something that the goalkeeper can't do anything against. I'm very satisfied with this game so far. Lampro with a quality ball into Lewis. Lewis, of course, not with the most stamina. Going to get taken down inside the box. I don't know what the what he was thinking, but we're going to give this to Angol because he deserves a goal out of this match. All three goals. I mean, two goals have been scored by Ferreira. One of them has been scored by, um, by Antonsen, but this has to be a goal. 
for Angol, for sure. Get in, Angol. That's what he deserves. He has gotten all of them assists, and now he gets a goal for himself as well. Number 19 continues to perform. Even though we have moved up a league, he is still one of the best in the league. Angol, quality finish, great penalty, goalkeeper, can't even move. We are up once again, 4-0, clean sheet, beautiful. And with that, we have beaten Blackpool and we're chasing down the top two once again. The lads have shown exactly what they are made of. The team has proven once again that we definitely belong up where we are right now. And Davis, hopefully, with another great performance that will make him more happy we want to keep him around for as long as possible hopefully the um the contract extension can be done soon enough again another game with less possession but of course more chances created two goals for Ferreira one for Antonsen one for Angol and then it is Angol with two assists Lewis got himself another one as well which is nice to see yo Davis he's okay again we can't renew the contract yet but he is not very unhappy anymore he's actually content which is something i like i really really do so hopefully davis can be rescued guys it looks like it might be possible forest green rovers our next opponent who are definitely in last place but ever since we have given them a goalkeeper they have been picking up some points which is good to see but against forest green right here we're gonna see our team go into a match right now and see if we can gather a good result and only a week after this the transfer window opens and with that a lot of players are leaving our team and at the same time a lot of cash is coming into the bank and goal once again scores another one but they do come back and of course if Angol scores Ferreira can't remain quiet he scores another one which takes him to 19 goals and they have missed the pen which makes me very happy and with that it's a 2-1 win against Forest Green they've probably given us the victory because we have given them a goalkeeper now hey my man Bennett, you are exceptional. You are very, very good. And I'm very happy with your performances. So there's nothing I can complain about with him. Bennett, of course, very happy. Colchester up next. If you guys remember, Colchester has always been the team that I could not beat. So we're going to start off next episode with a match against Colchester. And then after that, my friends, we go into the January transfer window of the second season, which I cannot wait for. Thank you so much for being here, for the reveal of the new kits, and of course, for the great performances of our team. Even if we lost against Liverpool, I am still extremely proud of this Road to Glory side, which is still growing and getting better day by day so one day we will beat liverpool and i promise that have a great day guys see you next time take care peace